Hey guys, guess who? Welcome to Cooking with Brenda Lee. And yes, I've been gone for a moment. Just a lot going on, y'all. Anyhow, so uh, glad to be back. Might be another month before I do a video, but hey, here I am. So today, game day. Go Chiefs, let's get that out of the way. Uh, second game, I don't know. I like both of them, so I'm not going to wish for one or the other. But anyhow, so today, guys, instead of doing wings or burgers or whatever I usually do, I'm going to make uh, Cracker Barrel's um, famous meatloaf and Cracker Barrel's um, cheesy hash browns. So, here we go. And I'm going to do this start to finish with the meatloaf. The hash browns have to uh, defrost a little bit, so I'll come back with it later. So, first of all... I gotta get my bow, and you're going to do one and a half sleeves of Ritz crackers. This is going to be a first, but my manager, Kelly, she said, hey, Kelly, she said she always uses, oh, I guess I should crumble these up first. She said she always uses Ritz crackers. I usually use regular crackers or sometimes uh, breadcrumbs, but anyhow, I'm just going to kind of mash these just a little bit, and then I'll go back and crunch them, crunch them. So I hope every day's, every day, I hope everybody's having a wonderful birthday, I mean a wonderful day, speaking of birthdays, today is my oldest daughter's birthday, Jamie Carter Potts, so I hope she's having a wonderful day, so maybe she'll watch this video and know that I'm thinking about her today. And then I'm going to do a half of a sleeve. And I'm just going to dump these in, guys. I've got my little, um, guys, I just woke up. It's still morning in Vegas, so bear with me, because I was up last night doing some things, and knowing I had to get up this morning, so... Guys, this is my little um, thing I use for meat. <laughs> I'm going to try. It's working. That's all I care about. I guess you could use this little tool for a lot of things. I love it. It cost me a dollar at the dollar store. <laughs> so, anyhow, I'm going to crunch all these up. I'm going to try to get this one, guys. And I'm going to come back. I'm going to get this in the oven. Then we'll come back and do my casserole, y'all, because my hash browns have to be thawed. And I should have done that last night, but I didn't. So I want to give a shout out to all my friends, co-workers, and all of those who I don't know that watch my video. Like I said, I apologize. It's been, a, it's been probably two months, but I hope to get back on this. I just picked up work and a lot of stuff going on. So, anyhow, it will be alright. Alright, so, I got my breadcrumbs. Let me crunch these a little bit more, y'all. And to this, where's my, hold on just a minute, guys. Alright guys, I had to take a pause. I had to look at my little note to see what was going where. Alright, so to the one half sleeves of Ritz crackers, we're going to add two-thirds cup of milk. And we're going to do two eggs. And I want to give... <laughs> just thinking I want to give Will a shout out he's one of my customers at Smith's and he always asks me why I haven't been doing videos so hey Will so anyhow shout out to him and so we've got the breadcrumbs two eggs two oh this is one cup of um, Colby and I went through a lot of these crackle barrel recipes that's what I was actually doing last night uh, they say that a lot of people use cheddar but Several people who did the video said that um, Cracker Barrel actually uses Colby. So that's what I was shredding with a little bit of help last night to get that done. 
um, and it's an eight ounce bar, just your small block. So um, this, I think I've got everything in here I need, yeah. So this is it guys, just your egg, cheese, uh, crackers, salt and pepper. And I know it looks a little, and milk. It looks a little boring, cause you know I season my burger uh, for my meatloaf with a seasoning packet and um, garlic, salt, onion powder. I do it all, but this one, I'm gonna go buy the recipe. I might cheat and throw a little bit of my meatloaf seasoning in, but then again, um, they say the butter is what makes it in the cheese, so I might just make it just like it is today, so like it calls for. Let me wash my hands on this, and then we're gonna add the burger, onions, and peppers. Let me give a shout out to my girl, Marilyn Green. Hey, Marilyn. <laughs> She's on vacation. She's been on vacation for a week. <laughs> she still has another week to go. But that's my bestie in Little Rock. I miss her, but she'll be here in May. So you want two pounds of burger. And um, I guess the tip to this is, is just don't, um, you don't overwork it, the meat. Once you get the meat and the peppers in, you just get it all worked in together and get it in the pan. I'm gonna use my small glass Pyrex. Um, some people in the video used a loaf pan, but I'm going with this. And I'm gonna mix this in a little bit. And then, well, let me go ahead and add that. And I'm just, Probably not going to put all these in there, guys. I think that's enough. And it calls for a half of a green bell pepper, but I had some frozen uh, peppers from work, um, and I just used red and green. I think it's prettier. And you need one, one chopped onion, and that one's kind of a smaller one, so just whatever size you want, guys. All right, so I'm going to get this all worked together. And as soon as I get it all done, I'll be back with y'all. So give me just a minute. All right, guys. So I get everything mixed up. It's kind of pretty. It's kind of mushy. But I know the uh, crackers are going to absorb all that moisture. So anyhow, once again, I used two pounds of burger, one onion chopped, one bell pepper chopped, salt and pepper, a cup of Colby cheese, and I shredded it from a block which was eight ounce, one and a half sleeves of Ritz crackers, two thirds cup of milk and two eggs. So anyway, there you go. I'm gonna get this in the oven, 350 degrees uncovered. I'm gonna bake it for probably 35 to 40 minutes. Then when it comes out, I'm gonna make my sauce and I'll take you through that. And then you put your sauce on and put it back in for another 30 minutes. So we're gonna see today guys how this comes out. So. Uh, I'll be back with you um, to make my uh, hash brown casserole. All right, guys. I got to get this going. They just had kickoff. I missed it. Anyhow, this looks kind of good. Smells good. So, the sauce. Normally, I use tomato paste, tomato sauce, a little bit of ketchup. But this calls for uh, brown sugar, mustard, and ketchup. And, guys, this is what my mama used. It's going to be a little sweet. But it gives it a really nice glaze. That's what Cracker Barrel are using. So I was kind of happy about that. But anyhow, I'm just going to mix this all together. I didn't, I just put whatever you want because I just know this from heart. I watched my mama do this a million times. I don't need to know what to put in here. I'm probably going to have to put a little bit more ketchup. And it should have a little bit of a yellow tinge to it from the mustard. Like I said, the brown sugar will give a little bit of sweetness. Most people might be throw or putting their nose up, but hey, don't knock it till you try it, because it's wonderful. This is what I grew up on. Now I am going to um, taste this a little bit. And y'all, that's good right there. See, I know. I watched my mama do this many, 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 many a time. Get rid of my spoon. I can't find my brush. I think it's packed somewhere. But anyhow, I'm just going to put this on the top. This has to go back in for 30 more minutes. Uncovered. Look how 
shiny that glaze is. That's what I loved about this. It is a little sweet, like I said. Don't knock it till you try it. It's a whole different meaning to the word glaze for your burger. It does smell good, guys. And that came out just about perfect. Alright guys, like I said, I'm putting this back in the oven for 350, or on my 350 degree oven. It's going back in for 30 minutes. And then they say to let this rest for about 30 minutes before you cut it, so... That's when I'm going to get my hash brown casserole going. So there you go, guys. That looks pretty good. But anyhow, I'll be back with you in just a few. Going to watch a game. My hash brown's still defalling. Um, I'm going to speed them up, I think, with some water. But anyhow, there you go. And I'll have it back out in just a little while. All right, guys. So now I'm going to make my hash brown casserole. And <laughs> I thought I had a bigger dish. And I don't. So I'm going to make two pans of it this size so I'm going to try to figure out how to do this half and half because you got to mix it in the bowl so first of all we're going to start with uh, the hash browns and the hash browns guys I bought two bags of frozen hash browns you need two pounds so I used the whole bag and about two handfuls um, out of the second bag and you need a half a stick of butter a half a, ch a half of a chopped onion two cups of cheddar cheese one can of cream of chicken, salt and pepper. That's it. So I'm going to put uh, half of the, I think they did the butter first. Let me do that. So I'm going to put half of my butter. This is going to be interesting, but I got this. Half of my onions. And this is two cups of cheese, half the cheese. And then half the hash browns. looks about right and then half of the can of cream of chicken and I know one guy on his video said people use cream of mushroom but no cracker barrel uses cream of chicken and that's about half a can and then I'm gonna get this all stirred up it goes in the oven 350 just until golden brown around the edges Salt and oh, somebody remind me I didn't put no salt and pepper. And the, the cheese, I might put a little bit more cheese in here because I've got extra in the fridge because I don't really think I put all of it in here. But anyhow, I'm going to stir this all up. You put it in the oven, 350, uncovered, about 30 minutes until it's all nice and golden brown along the edges. So I'll be back with you all in just a few minutes. Alright guys, so I took and just uh, washed my hands and mixed this up by hand. You don't want to pat this down in the dish. You kind of leave it loose. But anyhow, it's ready to go. Like I said, 350, 30 to 35 minutes. Alright guys, I'm going to get this meatloaf out. I'll be back in just a minute. Alright guys, so I'm done. I've got my Cracker Barrel Cheesy House Brown Casserole. My Cracker Barrel Meatloaf. And I fixed me a side of uh, lima beans. So anyhow, there you go. Another video. Maybe the next one won't be as long, y'all. I apologize. But anyway, I'm going to eat. I'm going to enjoy. My Chiefs are winning. It's a great day. Happy birthday again to my daughter, Jamie Carter ha House. Haas. Sorry, baby. Love you much. And until next time, thank you all for subscribing. If you like my videos, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe. Hit the notification bell so when I drop my next video, which I hope won't be as long. Until then, y'all have an absolutely wonderful Sunday.